hi welcome back to one more video tutorial so before starting with the tutorial you can subscribe my channel for more updates so first set up the page go to toolbar and select the ellipse now select direct selection tool and select this upper point and lower point by pressing on shift key and click on convert selection anchor point to corner now draw a circle just below this uh, object by pressing shift and alt key in your keyboard now duplicate this ellipse so select this and go to edit copy and paste in place now change the color of this new object now shift and alt and drag it and make it little bit smaller now again select this new object go to edit and copy paste in place and make one more now change the color of this new object so that uh, it would be visible for you now select this new one and go to edit copy edit paste in place change the color and make it more smaller now select all the object and click on vertical align button and align center now select all and again align center now select the second object and press r button on your key now press alt and drag the center to the center of the circle and give angle 45 degree and OK. Now select this pink object, press R. Now press and hold Alt key on your keyboard and drag the center to the center of the circle. Now this time give 90 degree. OK. Now select this small object press R key and press and hold alt key on your keyboard and drag the center to the center of the circle and here you give uh, we want this in the midst of these two object so for that we need to give the angle 22.5 degree and okay now select this object again uh, press R on your keyboard and drag the center to the center of the circle and give 45 degree and copy now let us change the color and group them now select this group object and press O on your keyboard and press and hold Alt key and drag the center to the center of the circle and here click on copy now select the text tool and write the text
now increase the size of the text and uh, change the font to ethnocentric now go to object expand them go to object ungroup it Now go to tool and select the rectangle tool. Go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place. Now drag this uh, new rectangle to the downward. Now select this new rectangle and C and go to tool and click on uh, shape builder tool. Now press and hold alt key on your keyboard and delete it. So we got a gap in the midst of C. Now select all the object and unite them. Now go to object, ungroup it. Now change the color. Similarly change the color of remaining letters to this color and group it group this one as well Now go to toolbar and select the text and write company name. Change the font. Now increase the stroke of this uh, text. Now expand it. One more time expand it. Now unite it. Now write the tagline. Now unite it. Align them. Now draw a rectangle. Draw another rectangle over it. Select all and uh, align at the center. Now select this rectangle and this line and go to shape builder tool. Now press and hold alt key and 
delete the middle portion. Now change the color. Now save this logo in transparent. Go to file, save for web. And here you can see transparency option is given. So mark it. And save it. Now open Photoshop CS6. Now go to File and open Mockup. Again go to File. Open the transparent image that we have saved from Illustrator. Now double click here. Click OK. Now drag the image over it. Click OK. You can also increase the size of the image. And Click here and hide this background and close it. Now click on yes. Wait while mockup is being applied. Now check our mockup. Hope this help you. So please subscribe my channel and like this video. Thank you for watching.